You guys ever want to know how to do a quick test on your battery in your car and on your alternator? Or how to clean the terminals and protect them? Stay tuned and I'll tell you. All right, so let's get in here and check this battery out. So let's say your car is cranking slow, um, having some issues, the battery light came on. So a good easy way to, thing to do, the easy way to test it, is get your multimeter. Now my multimeter, because I'm an actually an electrician, uh, it kind of self-regulates. So yours will look a little bit different. So I'm going to turn mine to voltage right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test it. So if I put the negative, this is a negative terminal. And if you look here, it actually goes right to the ground. Okay. Then this is your positive terminal. So if I actually connect those and you have a look, uh, it was on 13 volts, just dropped down to 12. Now a good battery um, in a state like this is going to have about 12.4, 12 12.6. Um, I would say it should never typically drop below 12. If it does, there's probably problems on the horizon. So um, right now that shows this is a good battery. Now, another thing to have a look at is visually check your terminals and see how they look. Uh, this one's got a little tiny bit of green going. And this one actually looks pretty good. Make sure you can even grab them and make sure they're tight. Now, a lot of people are afraid to touch these but you don't want to take a wrench and touch it to ground or anything like that. But look, I can touch both of these and it doesn't do anything. So don't be afraid to touch them and check them out. Now, if you have tools, like I said, that's different, but you can grab it, make sure it's not loose, make sure they're tight and you want to get in here and have a look. So come on in here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. All right, guys, if you get in here a little tighter, if you look at this one, you can see it's got some like a little bit of green stuff going on here, even on the wire. The terminal itself looks good. Um, this ground terminal looks fine. I don't see anything, I don't see any issues. Like I said, a lot of times you can tell the ground, look, this one goes right to the ground. So um, now what we can do is we can use a little cleaner on this, clean it up and then protect it. So let's do that now. You can have a look. This is a product I'm going to use initially. Uh, this, this will just clean up that green stuff, get it out of the way. And then once I've done getting it kind of straightened up with that, I'm going to then protect it with this. So here you go. Let's get on in here with the cleaner first. So what you do is you just get it, give it a little spray, spray it on and you'll notice that it's foaming up. Now this one doesn't have a lot on it. I'll give it a little spray. Nope. Not much foam going on. Uh, this one should be going after this. You can see a little foaming going on there. So let me get a little wire brush, give it a little cleaning because this one wasn't really that bad. But let me wire brush it and see if we can straighten it out. Then we'll protect it. All right, now we can get in here and hit it with a wire brush. Now when you're doing this part, you want to be careful because you don't want any of this to kind of shoot back on you. So. Um, I'm not actually using gloves because this isn't a very bad one, so, um, but it's not a bad idea if you get gloves, do that. There we go. It's pretty clean. That one looks pretty clean. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this. So what you do is give this little shake. Again, hit it. There we go. Now that's protected from coming back. Should keep it good and clean. Okay guys, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test the alternator. Now this is just a quick test, just to kind of tell you what's going on. So again, what you do is you turn this to voltage. You notice your, your positive and your negative, okay, on your battery. And you can see these already have a little coloring because I've already actually tested them uh, and clean them before. So let's go ahead and test this battery. The Mustang sits a lot. So see if I can get it in there. Okay, this one's 12, so it seems to be okay. Let's see if we can pin this in there somewhere. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this if I can. Then I'm gonna start it up. 
And what you can do is you can watch it and see how it does when I start it. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I got 12. What am I doing? This one there. There you go. All right, so I got the test leads kind of pinned in there where you can see it. So now you got 12. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Now, when you start up a car, it should not go below 10. I mean, I would really like it to stay about 11, maybe 10 and a half, but if it goes below 10, I mean, that's problems coming. That means that it's not holding the charge. Your battery is gonna get bad. So, hey, you guys get in here and have a look at it. I'm gonna go start the Mustang up. We'll see what it does. Now, after I start it, like I said, it should not drop below 10. I'd like to stay, see it stay at 11. Um, after that, as soon as the engine actually starts, it'll click over to the alternator. Well, when the alternator hits, it should almost instantly go up to 13, 14 volts. That'll let you know your alternator's working. So get in here and have a look at it and I'll start it up. All right, guys, keep an eye on it. I'll start it up, see if it drops below 11 and then see if it shoots back up after the car's running. All right, did you guys see it? Did you see what it did? So again, check it. It should say 12 volts. And then, like I said, when you go to start it, it should not drop below. I'd like it to be at 11, um, definitely not below 10. Then that means your, your battery is getting weak. And then once the car is running, it should almost instantly shoot up to 13, even 14 volts. That means your alternator is working. So there you go. Quick way to check it out. A uh, quick way to take care of your battery. Um, if you ever look at your battery, and it's got a bunch of crud on it and a bunch of nastiness all around. It looks like a, something's growing. That's problems. You need to take it apart, clean it, put it back together. All right, guys, before I end this video, I found an old battery here sitting outside. Um, let's check it out. See if it's good. First off, again, turn your meter to voltage right here. Now, again, this one is a self-regulating meter because um, I use it for electrical troubleshooting. But if you have one that has a standard dial, you're going to turn it to DC and it's going to have to go above 12 volts. So it'll probably have like a 15 volt, 20 volt setting. That's fine. Either one of those. Um, now remember DC, direct current, that's a battery. AC is alternating current. It's like your house. So got this on DC. Let's go ahead and test it. 13, 12 volts. So this one actually shows good. Now there are some additional tests you can do to this, um, like a draw test and that kind of stuff. But this is just a good quick little thing where you can test it and see if it's okay. So another thing I was gonna show you is they make a tool just for cleaning your battery. So this is a tool you can get at any auto parts store. If you look in this end, it's got the hole where you can stick it. And if you got this end, it's got this. So, you know, the uh, posts to go on here, you can take this and clean them up in your car. So that's what that's for. And you can see this one's well used because um, I've used it a lot. And then the other ones, you got your post here. It needs to clean up a little bit. You just jam that baby on there. Give it some spins. Boom. Yep, looking a little shiny already. So this one over here, jamming on there. Give it some spins. There you go. Look how shiny that looks. So that's a way to clean them. So if you ever look at your battery and it's got a bunch of green stuff or white stuff or, you know, just a bunch of weird crap growing on there, uh, take it apart. Clean both sides. You can even use a little spray and then use this. Clean it all up. Put it back together, tighten it up really well, and then with the protector. So there you go. Outside of testing old battery, this is what you need to do it. So 
I'm Dave with Absolute Car Guys. This is an easy test for a battery and an alternator. Just kind of a quick and easy one that any DIY person could do. Um, you know, so look, work on your own stuff. Enjoy the ride. 